Good morning, guys. This is Brother John, and it is View from the Pastor Study. We are meeting with you this morning, Wednesday morning, June the 8th, 2022, and we're going to be meeting tonight. Our children, youth, and adults will all be meeting at 6 p.m., and we invite you to come join us from 6 to 7 p.m. Our adults are going through the book of Revelation, and I wanted to share with you a passage of Scripture and um, I want you to take a look at it when you get a chance. And I want you to think about this. What does it take to overcome the devil? What does it take to overcome the devil? He is an accuser. He is a liar. He is a murderer. But if you are a child of God, you've got what it takes. And let me share with you what it says in God's word about that. There's a great celebration that's occurring in heaven in Revelation 12 because Satan has been defeated. He's been thrown down to the earth. He's been struck down. He is no longer able to get into heaven. And it sounds very much like he's earthbound at this point. In a sense, his wings have been clipped. And there's a celebration and a word from John. And here's what it says in 10, 11, and 12. It says, Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night, has been cast down. Now, I want you to think about that. There's an enemy who accuses you day and night before God. And if Jesus is your advocate, you've got the greatest defense attorney who could ever live. But if he's not your advocate, you've got an accuser who's before God, accusing you day and night of all of your sinful acts. But listen to what it says. Take into account, it's talking about this accuser. And they, that's the brethren, overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. By the way, listen, no matter whether he's in heaven or not or in or on earth or not, understand his time is limited. So take comfort in that, beloved. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. No person who's got the blood of Jesus Christ applied to their life can stand before God accused by Satan because Jesus Christ has taken care of their sin. Isn't that good to know? No person who's got the blood of Christ applied to their life can stand accused by Satan before God because Jesus Christ is taking care of their sins. So he overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Second, by the word of their testimony. I would take that to mean, and I think this is pretty close to the truth, when you're saved, you're changed. When you're genuinely saved, you're genuinely changed. And although he can accuse you about your past, a transformed life looks different now. It shows the fruit of a saved life. The word of the testimony, the word of your testimony. And your testimony is not just when you got saved and before you were saved. It's what God has been doing in your life since you got saved. That testimony is a fruit. And then there's one final thing. It's a very interesting statement. I've been thinking about this. They did not love their lives to the death. They did not love their lives to the death. The main interpretation of this is seen in this. I'm not so in love with my life that I'm willing to sacrifice my Christianity so that I can remain alive. I'm willing to not love my life to the point of death. I am willing to sacrifice my life to the point of death. And we're living in a world that's becoming more and more anti-Christian. So Christian, do you view your own life in that way? I know that you have plans for your future. I know you have plans for your family. But what about your plans for your forever? Do you not love, not love your life to the point of being willing to die for your Savior? You may never have to. You may live a long life and die a natural death. But are you willing to give your life for Christ? And that's how you overcome the devil. Through the blood of the Lamb, the word of your testimony, you do not love your life unto death. Because see, if you believe Jesus is who he says he is, what is his life anyway? It's just a temporary stop on the way to the Savior. 
So I pray God blesses you today. I pray that you'll have a wonderful Wednesday. I pray that you'll worship somewhere tonight if you're able. It's great to get that midweek manna and get encouraged in the Lord. If you want to join us tonight, we should be online at 6 p.m. with our adult Bible study. We're in Revelation 12, verses 7 through 17, and you're invited to join us. So God bless you, and you have a great day.